All right, there's, a, there's an experimental anyway, so we're going to do the experimental. All right. Chat, experimental just came out. Um, No, it's not that one. It's this one. All right, new experimental, chat. New experimental. Okay. All right. The next experiment begins. We were... We were t this time we're hoping to get your feedback on some balance changes. We're using the 222 roll lock queue. Okay. Genji. We're increasing Genji's shuriken fire rate to enable him to have more impact outside of his ultimate and increasing the cost of Dragon Blade to account for the increased damage potential. Shuriken recovery load from 0.75 to 0.68. Is that where it was before? Is that the old one? And Dragon Blade cost increased 15%. So basically, they're trying to make him not a blade bot anymore, which is nice. <coughs> May, what? A while ago, there was a change in May's cryo freeze collision consisting with her ice wall, meaning she will no longer be targeted by allies on side of block of ice. We're increasing her cryo freeze healing rate since she isn't able to easily be healed up by her allies during that time. This is the worst buff ever. This is actually awful. That's actually awful. She she literally has an like an un like an undying ability. Can't get CC'd. Yeah, she's she can't move and do anything either. But she gets healed from it. This is I don't know. That's cringe. I hate that fucking change. That's a, that's a garbage change. Farah, the intent for Farah's hover jet fuel adjustments is to find a balance where it enables her to maintain an altitude reasonably well with careful fuel and cooldown management, but not so easily to climb to extreme heights. Some map ceilings allow for it. it can be lead to less intrusive gameplay. Hover Jet's regeneration rate increased from 35 to 43. Okay. Fair getting another buff. That's interesting. I think that's that's scary that we're getting more and more Farah buffs over and over. Reaper. Um Whoa. So they buffed his damage from 5.5 back to 6. Um yeah, Rush is gonna be officially meta next next patch. Officially, if it wasn't already. Uh, Reaper may rush 110 percent um this is this is the old experimental they ended up changing it from uh six to five point five but now they're reverting it going from five point five to six um because it wasn't that bad but now it's sniper Reaper actually is back F I like rush but I hate may Reaper rush it's just kind of boring um I don't hate it but it's 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 not the best because you don't always get players that want to play it Sigma uh, While well, the previous cooldown increase for experimental barrier had an intended effect of opening up more counterplay, there'd be tuning the value be less restricted for Sigma. 2.5 to 2. I hate this change. Sigma is honestly fine. He's actually still very good. That's a scary bad change. Zarya has been overperforming in a variety of team compositions. Uh, so the increased drain rate will bring her average energy level down slightly between engagements. Um, I'm okay with that because it stops steamrolling, which is nice. Um, but I don't think Zarya is an issue right now. I don't think Zarya is an issue. So this is, this is bad. This is scary. This is, uh, this is a really scary patch, I think. Um, this won't mean shit. It just means that if you have a Genji on your team, they're throwing a little bit less. But that means you'll probably see more Genji, so that's going to suck ass. Um, May getting buffed is trash. Farrah got another micro buff. We'll see how that goes over time. She, I think she's getting the Ash treatment where she's getting a bunch of micro buffs, and over time she's going to end up being fucking beastly. Um, so I'm scared of that. Reaper got reverted to Sniper Reaper, where it was the original experimental, so that's kind of scary. Um, going from 5.5 to 6. Uh, Sigma. I don't like this buff at all. I don't like it at all. I think it was fine. Sigma was still getting very much played at high level. A lot. Um, to give him a buff doesn't really make sense. And Zarya nerf, I'm okay with it because it stops steamroll, but... Uh, yeah. Let's, let's, um... Let's try it really quick, shall we? I, I'll trust them. I'll trust them because, honestly, the last couple of Blizz, like, balances have been really good, but this is scary. This is back. Was a tactical error. This is back again. Sniper Reaper's back. Um, to be honest with you, they're probably trying to to f a f like officially force a rush meta. Um, 
which I guess is good because it's what we've kind of all wanted for a little while or at least a lot of players I mean like hey top level overwatch is best played at rush um but we've kind of already got rush with McCree uh sometimes you run May already like teams that run May like you typically had to mirror it um depending on what map it is uh I think these buffs are gonna make it so that you almost have to play these heroes if the other team plays them like like if, if the other team walks out on Reaper May um Ryan's Aria Lucio Bap or you know like Lucio Moira whatever it might be you you gotta you have to answer and you have to do it because like look at this range dude I'm three shotting from like significant distance I'm not even like fully in for the head. I'm like aiming upper or torso. Reaper currently feels quite underpowered. I see a lot of Reaper in my game. Not a lot of it, but like a good amount. I see more Kree than anything. I think Kree is probably one of the best picks in the game right now. Kree is probably number one pick. Echo's up there with a pretty decent pick, but you gotta give her some good resources so she doesn't do well with Rush. Um, you have to run like Zen or Mercy or some not really Mercy, mostly Zen with a uh, Echo and just poke it out. I've seen a good amount of Sim. Um, May is really good. Hans is just a uh, just a tank buster. It's all he's good for right now. He's not really a sniper anymore. He's literally just a tank buster. Um, let's go take some damage. Let's see what the the healing change looks like. Is it that significant? So basically they wanted to make it so she could basically full heal herself from low HP, which uh, like it makes sense in theory. It makes sense in theory, but practicality, that's kind of annoying. Um because it's already a bailout button. Like like let's say let's say I may right, like let's say I may goes too far into the enemy team, right? Too far in. And then they pop their thing and wait for their team to push in to come get them. Like, they're typically okay. Like, you know, like they do have a giant fucking wall to also use. But if they use the wall and the engage and then overcommitted and then use their ice block, it's literally like a four second, um, literally cryo freeze where they can't be killed and they, they can wait for their team to come, like, bail them out of their mistake. It feels a lot like BAP, um, in a way. Um, which I'm fine with it being in the game like it's just kind of annoying, but it's fine Like it's not it's not like you know, I won't complain about it Like a lot of people complain about window I think it's honestly fine for May because she's such a close-range hero It's nice to have but I don't think it should be giving her a second life. I think that's a little tough a little tough um, But I don't know. We'll see. We'll, have, we'll see how it goes um, They've proven us wrong recently. They've proven me wrong recently um, So I'm willing to give it a shot and see how it goes um, but I'm I'm definitely nervous for a Reaper Reaper May rush. But hey, you know what? I'll take I'll take Reaper May rush over f double shield echo etc. Any day of the week. Um, also, oh Genji Genji Genji, we're gonna look at Genji. This is this is useless, but at least we'll see it. I don't play Genji. I barely feel it. Um, who else got changes? Sorry, I got changes. Sigma got changes. Barrier in place. Doesn't feel that much different, but still a small nerf. I mean, small buff. Um. So I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence about that one. Let's see what. So Farrah had a hard time staying in the air for a little while.
Definitely significant. I'm not the greatest Pharah player, but... <gasps> as long as you hit the original booster jump, you can get at least a few cycles in. It doesn't feel like I can, I can hold the skybox either, so it looks like it's gonna it's gonna do what they intended. the The patch notes said that the intention was so that she could stay in the air but not be at the fucking skybox. So it looks like it did what it's intended to do. This buff. Um. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right. That's my my take on it. But wait, there's more. This might not be bad. This actually might be terrible. Might not be terrible. The th the thing is, I'm actually I'm really nervous about it, is May Reaper Rush. But now that I think about it a little bit more, because I think May Reaper Rush is coming 100. percent That forces people to play Rush. So we can't have those games where someone wants to play Zen and just AFK or some shit because you'll just lose. So if they do that, they just lose all their games. There's a new beta thing on the leaderboard. I'll look in a sec. So honestly, even though my first reaction of looking at this is kind of like, ah, uh, it's going to be kind of trash. Uh, I don't like it. I, I, I still disagree with the May change. I don't think I agree with the Reaper change. Uh, I think I'm going to get proven wrong. I think I'm going to get proven wrong again. Um, and it's going to look good. It's actually going to end up being like a, a good patch, but who knows? We'll see. We'll see.